look at this thing, you can see the second burner from the left, there's just a little bit of push out there where it's actually rolling out just a little bit. Uh, that's a problem. There's a broken part of the heat exchanger in there. And let's take a look at this thing when the fan starts. So here's what happened. As soon as the fan came on, because there was a break in the heat exchanger, it changed the pressure inside the heat exchanger and the pressure switch shut the furnace off. If you notice the blinks on that control, it was blinking pressure switch control problem just before it went back to try to fire up again. So the problem is, it had a cracked heat exchanger which shut the furnace down every time the fan came on. Now let's take a look at this if I actually changed the way the venting was working. What would happen to this furnace if the venting back pressure was a little bit lower? Let's take a look at how this thing would work out. And obviously you can see there we had a roll out of flame there when we had less back pressure from the inducer. So that's it on that one. Just another heat exchanger problem on a gas furnace.